So um, I started out um, as the, the, the assistant of the director. I took over after a year, a couple of smaller exhibitions. And by the end of my career, which, uh, yeah, or by the end of my career, um, after a couple of years at the ACF, I took over the gallery space there. And I started to, uh, to manage it, to uh, work with artists and with curators and uh, be in charge of the production. And I love it. I'm really good at it also. <laughs> Not only that I really like my job, uh, I'm also very good at it. Um, yeah, but um, after nine years working for them, I uh, decided to to just move on to a different, or to have like another journey. Like I grew a lot within the past six years and I feel like I can do much more. Um, but that experience working within the arts, with artists and with the curators is, it's really something that I grew a lot from. I learned, I learned about who I am personally, what what drives me in life, what uh, what I don't like, what I don't like, what I don't want to do, what I want to do. Um, yeah, I feel like coming from Vienna when I was twenty five. Yeah, I turned twenty five that summer when I moved here. Um, looking back now almost 10 years later i feel like i was hiding or running from something and um, i never quite understood what it was that wasn't fitting in vienna austria for me after 10 years being in new york and um, having met like really incredible people artists and um, able to, or being able to just be anonymous. Like I said, the city is so forgiving. Nobody really cares here. Um, at the same time, I feel like it's a perfect setting to really find yourself. Um, yeah, I, looking back, I kind of understand, or kind of understand now, I don't know if, I, if I'm there <laughs> yet to fully understand, but, um, definitely understanding the journey that, like, it just happened to me that and it was, I was never quite interested in New York. I mean, I, I know where it is on the map, but I never really um, was, um, was trying to go there. It kind of happened for me, and um, I think it happened for a reason, very much so. Um, yeah, the, yeah, I feel like, I mean, Vienna has changed a lot within the past 10 years too. Uh, since I have family there, I go back quite often, quite often, once a year. Um, and it's not going back to prison, not at all. It's, um, it's a young, or it's now a, a more younger city. Than, um, than it was before. Uh, a lot of artists, uh, but still very small. It's still very provincial to some extent, even though you have quite a good alternative artist scene there. Um, but compared to New York, I mean, you, you just cannot compare. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know any city that you can compare, that you would compare to New York City. Um, it's just really unique, A, because with all those million peoples here. I mean, the, the size of it uh, pretty much matters. Um, but the fact that um, people who live here are usually, they, they come from everywhere. Um, I know very, very few that actually grew up here. Very few. Uh, a couple and uh, very interesting. But uh, at the same time, it's, um, it's a city where 
where people with um, a wanting more from life meet up and they share a journey together. Um, I've been here for nine years, almost ten now. Um, I've shared journeys with a lot of people and it's very sad to see them go also because not that many actually remain here. Um, that's also a, kind of a sad part of it um, that a lot of people just move through here. Moving through meaning like still sticking around for a couple of years but at some point event or at some point eventually leaving. They end up eventually leaving. So. But that's also very interesting, and I feel like the just the hardcore people remain here. <laughs> uh, no, so I met Frank uh, through my job at DCF. Um, we met in the summer of two thousand and twelve, September two thousand twelve exactly, and uh, he was working for us. So at the gallery, we work with uh, freelance artists who. Um, break down and put up the new shows, break down the old ones, put up the new ones. And um, so yeah, at the beginning, it was just, uh, we got along from the very beginning. However, it was definitely like the relationship of the boss dating <laughs> the employee, <laughs> which is terrible. <laughs> so, which didn't happen at the very beginning. So I was, I was trying to be quite professional about it. And um, you know, the art scene here is, um, it's big and at the same time it's very small because you run into people all the time, the same people all the time. So that what happened basically to us, that um, we started working together and there was this connection right away. But uh, at the same time, let's keep it on a professional level, but then you run into each other on openings and so on. And at some point, we de we decided, screw professionalism. <laughs> Let's just screw each other. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and yeah, that's me. <laughs> um, yeah, so we started dating. Um, like I think like half a year later or so, six months into, and. Um, was good. It's um, he's an artist. He's a very talented young artist. Um, I have this passion for contemporary art. I work within the arts, and uh, it was it just a, a good match, a very good match. And um, yeah, at some point we started talking about how it would be um, or being married to each other, and. Uh, it's nothing, it was nothing romantic. It was just very, I don't know, stripped down to reality that, um, yeah, I just want to be with him for, I don't know if it's the rest of my life, like who knows, I mean, but he, he's the one that makes me happy and uh, I just want to be with him as long as I can. And um, he shared the, the same, yeah, the same opinion, the same passion for me. And uh, we got married uh, in November, November 5th, uh, 2014. So it's been almost two years now. Um, very low key, City Hall, New York City, with his family, with my family, only close family. We were like, I think, 30 people for the party. Um, yeah, it was, um, if, I had to do it all over again. That's the way I would want to do it. Um, yeah.